Bill and this is my air gun range. I'm back to the range today. Today I'm here with my Vulcan 3. This is uh, the, in 25 cal. This is one of my favorite rifles. Um, there it is. Right now, kind of the Pantera is kind of my uh, the rifle I take out the most. Um, I kind of haven't neglected this for a little bit, but um, the Vulcan is a really good gun. Um, it has a lot of features or some features that are going to be very similar to the new DRS, the FX DRS, and that's what I want to kind of talk about today. Um, the other thing which is going to be very similar is the DRS you need to take the stock off to adjust it so let me show you how quick this this stock is to come off it's a matter of just two allen keys two allen screws actually and the reason why I'm going to pull this out of the stock is uh, I just raised the regulator pressure so I'm going to have to adjust the hammer spring a little bit and so similar to the uh, DRS, this rifle you take off the stock. In the back, there's an adjustment for the hammer string, it's, and it's the same size, which makes it nice. Um, and there's a little set screw that you have to undo to be able to uh, adjust the hammer. Um, I know some people were talking about drilling a hole in the back of the stock to be able to do it without taking the stock off or back the uh, the butt plate. Uh, but then there's nothing to hold it uh, in place, and uh, I would think that hammer screw could come loose if uh, after a time if you just keep shooting it without a set screw there. And what's kind of interesting is that the way I tuned the Vulcan was kind of the same. I don't know if anyone saw the new uh, Matt Dubber video where he's uh, testing or uh, tuning the DRS, the new DRS. I do the same thing. I take this out of the stock, I put it down on the bench, and I adjust my hammer spring. Uh, to be able to get it to shoot the way I want, to get it tuned in. The only difference is this, the Vulcan, um, you have to take it out of the, um, you have to take it out of the stock to adjust the hammer. You actually have to pull the regulator to adjust the regulator. So with the new FX, you'll be able to take it out of the stock, adjust the hammer, but you, uh, you'll be able to do the adjust rate, uh, the regulator without taking the regulator out, which will, which will be pretty nice. Um, and then the other thing is the, uh, the new DRS is going to have a fill probe like this. Um, I like to sometimes have mine whipped in. Uh, the way the location with the Vulcan is no problem. I'm not sure how the DRS Pro is going to work with that, but um, we'll have to see when I get it. So, like I was saying, um, to tune this gun, I do it the same way that Matt Dubber did in the new video with the DRS, where you take it out of the uh, out of the stock, and I put this on the table, and as I'm shooting it, I adjust my my uh, hammer spring to get it. So, what's pretty cool is that the um, it takes a little bit of effort, but with this Vulcan, you can get your spreads way down. Um, so I just raised the reg to 180 bar, and when I was shooting it, I started off with a spread of maybe about 12, 15. Just by messing around with the hammer a little bit, I got it down. Let me think. Uh, I'll look on my um, my iPad in a second. I think I got it down to four feet per second. So I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to get on the bench. I'm going to um, take some shots out to 300 yards. I got uh, two cans and two eggs at 300 yards. The last video I did with the RTI, um, it took quite a few shots, but I was able to get the cans and the egg. Um, with the Pantera, I have no problem getting eggs and cans at 300 yards. So uh, I'm just going to compare it to both those guns today, um, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it shoots. We'll see um, if I can get the uh, cans and eggs. Hopefully, maybe I could do it in 10 shots or less. I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see what's going to happen. Let me get it back together. We'll put it on the bench and we'll do a little shooting and uh, hopefully the new DRS will come in pretty soon and we'll compare it to this. I ordered from Talon Tunes. Uh, Tony's taking um, uh, pre-orders there. If anybody wants to get a pre-order, you can do that through Talon Tunes. Nice. Uh, um, the way the Vulcan is, when you pull the stock off, it's not attached to the barrel. With the new DRS, when you pull the stock off, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the barrel is poured on it. So every single time that you pull that on and off, you're going to have to retune the gun or, or you know mess with it a little bit because it's directly contact with the barrel with this you can pull the stock off and it doesn't affect it at all so um, I've done this dozens of times I pull the stock I put it back on and it doesn't affect uh, the way the rifle shoots so hopefully um, it, it won't make me look like a liar but I'm gonna put this back on the bench I had it sighted in at 300 yards I was just shooting um, a piece of steel at 300 yards was I just ran out there and I, and I uh, painted it so uh, I'm just going to air it up and we'll start right at 300 yards and we'll see if the gun is still fairly close at 300 yards after pulling off the stock. Alright, so I'll be right back. Get this on the bench and we'll do some shooting. 
All right, so we're at the bench with the Vulcan 3 and 25 cal. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a shot um, at a golf ball. Um, and that what I'm going to use that for is to make some adjustments so I can shoot at the cans and the, and the eggs. Um, that's normally what I do is when I'm trying to get the gun sight in or trying to get something tuned, I use a golf ball because uh, you can see it pretty well. Um, sometimes you hit it too early and you don't have anything to use for a reference. But um, let me get the big camera going here. Actually, you know what? I'll do the golf ball on the Tacnicam, and then I'll film with the big camera when I do the other things, and I'll let it keep running here. So let me um, let me take a shot at this golf ball, and uh, you guys can see it through the Tacnicam how close I'm going to be. All right, so let's take the first shot here. Oh, pretty darn close. Ah, I didn't record. Damn it. Okay. All right, I'm recording. All right, so I'm going to shoot at that golf ball again. Just use that for reference. And then if I got to make, um, if I have to make an adjustment, then I'll make an adjustment. And then I'll try for the other stuff here. So uh, let's try the can one more time. I mean, the golf ball, it's the one you can see it in the cam here is just above that saw blade. Oh, I got it. Well, I didn't want to get it. I wanted to show how I make the adjustments, but um, like I said, before I pulled this out of the stock, it was right on the money, so uh, it was already there, but um, as you can see, once you put it back in, it's right still where it was. I should have taken some shots, uh, showed you that before I took it out, but um, that's going to be one of the things that might bother me a little bit about the DRS, that if you have to um, torque the screws for the barrel every single time exactly the same, and it might not shoot the same if you got to pull it out every time to adjust it. So. Um, when that comes in, we'll take it out here and we'll, and we'll test it and we'll see how it works. But um, you can see the Vulcan. You can pull the stock off, put it right back on. You're still right in the money. So uh, let's, uh, let's get the uh, other stuff going here. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll shoot at the cans and the eggs. I'll just keep on shooting and see how many shots it takes to get them. Um, let me uh, get the big camera going here. Uh, recording. You can see that pretty good. That looks nice and clear. I'm gonna ring the uh, that 12 by 12 piece of steel first. Um, if I'm pretty close to center, then I'm gonna go right for a can. All right, so here we go. Hopefully um, I won't be too far off <laughs> now that I hit that golf ball, but we'll see what we can do. All right, we're gonna ring a piece of steel at 300 yards. All right, so that's where I want to be, dead center. All right, so let's take a shot at the can next, or one of the cans. All right, we'll take the one on the right. Little bit to the right. Okay, there's one can. Let's take another can. Oh, I moved it, but I didn't pop it. Let's try to pop it. There it is. All right, um, I'll take the egg on the right because the other one still has soda pouring on it. Come on. There, oh, I moved it, but I didn't break it. All right, I'll try it again. Oh, I hit it. I saw it. <laughs> Should be able to see that in the, uh, in the big camera here. All right, come on. Last egg. Right in front of it. Oh, I think I only got two slugs left. There it is. I broke it. Let me see if I can hit it again. Um, I'm going to call that a hit. <laughs> I think I broke the top of it off. And I'm out of slugs, so... Um, Alright, well, damn it. Um, when I was shooting the A with the RTI, that sucker went flying. It looked pretty good. But um, I'll have to relook this video. Actually, I'll take a ride down there. 
um, I think both the tops of those eggs are gone. So let's take a quick ride down there and see if the tops of those eggs are gone, alright? Oh yeah, I hit him. Stop here. Alright. I don't want to get my foot all wet. All right, both those eggs are broken. We'll look back in the camera here, but uh, all right, I got them. Two cans and two eggs. All right, so we'll get back to the bench, get cleaned up, and we'll get out of here. Woo! Mud, mud, mud. All right, so that was fun. I'm back at the bench. I'm going to clean up here in a minute. I did get both those eggs. Um, they were both broken. I'll have to look back at the video to see if I had direct hits or if they were ricochets off the dirt breaking the eggs. But uh, it is what it is. I got them and uh, I got two cans of 300 yards. Uh, but kind of the point of the video was uh, more on the uh, on the Vulcan on kind of how you tune it and some of the similarities that are to the uh, the DRS. Um, like I said, the big the big thing about the Vulcan and the DRS is that you got to, this one you got to pull it out of the stock to uh, do the adjustments. And the new DRS, you're going to have to pull it out of the chassis. Uh, to make your adjustments so uh, with the Vulcan um, the big thing is if you do it the way that I do it in the way that Matt Dubber uh, did the uh, the tuning on the DRS in that new video if you pull it out of the stock you can make fine adjustments and keep on shooting it when I first got the Vulcan uh, I pulled out of stock make an adjustment shoot it and then see what the uh, you know what the speeds were had to put it back in and we keep on doing it so uh, the way I do it out of stock like that you just make fine fine adjustments on the hammer uh, and then you can get some really good spreads so like I said so today uh, we are at 978 with a spread of 4 and a standard deviation of 1.6 um, I don't know if I can get any better than that but I just kept on messing with the hammer just a little bit that I take that and lock the uh, the set screw you, you set it and then the hammer set and it stays like that and um, so I'm just gonna shoot the gun the way it is for a while is shooting these 46 grain bow tail ABS slugs very well so I'll just keep shooting that for a little bit um, I did have a really good tune with 42 grain ABS slugs uh, those actually were the most precise slugs that I shot uh, out of this rifle um, like a hundred yard grouping and uh, closer that was they were like dead on but the uh, the bow tails seem to do better you know beyond 200 and 300 yards so that's the reason why I like the bow tails um, I'm not really a precision shooter, I just kind of like to be able to hit my targets. And with the better BC, uh, with the bow tails, I seem to do better at these longer ranges here. So let me uh, let me ring this steel one more time to see if you can hear it. Hopefully I don't miss and embarrass myself here, so I might as well do the tactic cam. Let's ring that steel at 300 yards one more time to see how well you can hear it. Ding! Um, that's going to do for today. So, until next time. Bye-bye.